Hello and welcome back everybody to the Minecast Podcast. We are Boarding Equals Gaming. And today we are on the 8 sections server. So pretty much um, what we have planned is a couple of new topics. Uh, Chris is with me today. Um, so pretty much we're going to be covering some topics for you guys and give you our two cents on uh, what we think about them. And uh, while we do that, Chris is going to be working on that a little bit, and I'm going to be working on uh, getting this farm a little bit more established. This farm has been bugging me a bit with how little it actually outputs. So we're going to be expanding our little sky island in the sky over that way a little bit, uh, possibly getting some uh, like some pigs and chickens to spawn up here, possibly. So, without further ado, here we go. Um... So we're going to go and open up uh, with the Malaysian aircraft that disappeared. Um, so what do you got on this little topic, Chris? Um, okay, so for the updates for that, I have heard basically they are considering the plane crashed and everybody on board um, is deceased or dead. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's funny because they are deciding to choose us because... Um, I guess they got some data that they have that they consider as um, uh, basically concrete evidence, but they have no proof of it. Mm -hmm. They're just saying that it's crashed. Okay. So, See, I've uh, heard this how too. How would you reward that? See, I've heard this too, and I'm also disturbed by it. Um, because, like you said, they have no solid evidence. I mean, what are they going by? I mean, they're going by a pure guess, and probably they're anxious and just want closure for families. But I don't think that this is true closure. I mean, yeah. is it is it closure to go ahead and say, we have no evidence, but your son is dead? I mean... <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're... I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it kind of it, it pissed me off. I'll be quite honest, when they actually did declare it. Because I was like, okay, so where's the plane wreckage? Do you have any signal from the, from the black box down there? No, you have no solid evidence. So is the possibility still there for terrorism? Absolutely. I mean, if there's no concrete evidence, and all you have is like these little satellite images that you think could be it, but you have no proof of it, come on. I heard there's about 85 different images of um, debris in the ocean, and they don't know if it has anything to do with um, uh, You may want to flight. say that you cut out really bad there. Oop, my bad. Uh, you can hear me good now though, right? Yeah, you're good right now. Okay. Yeah, I heard that there's about 85 different images that they have. And they're not sh that that sh could be debris from the aircraft that they have no clue if they were or not, and they seen on right now their best guess is these two images in the Indian Ocean off uh, what fifteen hundred miles yeah. off of Australia, mm -hmm. and there's one's like eighty five feet long and one's I forget how long the other one is but um. My wife brought up an awesome point. It could just be a whale. Like, you don't have a clue what that could be. Maybe, um, fish, well, I guess it couldn't be a fisherman's ship because it looks like it's semi under the water, but it, it, it just, I think they're going about it a really bad way. See, I think that they're rushing it a little bit, jumping the gun on saying, Yep, this is... they're dead. But then again, I'm not the one being paid to go ahead and make the decision and tell the families, yeah, this is what it is. So, yeah. I don't really have a right to say this is right, this is wrong when I'm not there and I don't have all the facts. But the one thing that I did hear for, that the families were thinking about doing was suing uh, Malaysian Air or... Um, I can't, actually, it might not have been Malaysian Air, but um, the people of Malaysia for covering it up or something like that. 
or for delaying the yeah. evidence or something like that. I can't remember what exactly it was, but I found that really interesting. Yeah, I've heard that the information that they are giving their families from that are in uh, that area, like, we have ten times more information from it sounds like. So I feel really bad for them if that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, auto save inbound. Be in a safe place. Okay. Thank you. Yep. But, um, yeah, I'm not really... Do I think that they should have made that call? Absolutely not. Um, and do you know if they're still searching right now? Yeah, they're still searching. Um, we've had a couple of days of weather. I'm not sure what type of weather is prevent them from going out there, but uh, I think um, two days ago and today that they weren't able to search, but they're still... You there? Okay. Um, that's all I was wondering. With his internet being this bad, um, he usually doesn't cut out this bad, um, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Um, but yeah, I'm insanely, insanely um, against that call with the Malaysian Air. Um, without solid concrete proof and everything like that, I don't, I don't know why. Wait a minute, he's here. What the hell? Oh, wait, huh? Hmm, I'm confused. A party jumped. What the hell? Hello. I just party jumped. I don't know. I just I was party jumped. Talking. Thank you. Xbox. What do you mean party jumped? Um, I was in a party with the other guy that's in here, uh, poop trousers. Um, and for some reason it swapped me from our party to his. Okay. So pretty much I just concluded on the Malaysian air. Um. Okay. So. Next up on the list, uh, virtual reality. PS4 just revealed uh, Project Morpheus this week. Well, actually, I guess maybe revealed isn't like the best term to put that because they were already working with the PlayStation Move camera and already had an augmented reality helmet back. Oh, they I, did? I, I want to say like in 2010, E3, they unveiled that. But. It was like the beginning of Project Morpheus. So now that it's like really getting serious, um, yeah. It, from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing, it looks like one beast of a machine and something that's going to get Oculus Rift. It's, it's definite run for its money. Is this what you're hearing as well? Well. Um, beast of a machine is a good way to put it. I've heard that it's a lot bigger than Swift, actually. But, but um, it's, I, I guess more time has been put into the Oculus Rift than the Sony one, but they're saying that the Oculus Rift has better uh, screen right now, but they are... They have a better screen. Um, You're saying Oculus yeah, has a better I've screen. Heard, that's what I've heard, yes. I would argue that. <laughs> I would I would definitely argue that because the common sense to me says Sony has been in the television industry since pretty much televisions ever came out. Well, actually RCA was probably one of the main people for it. But still, Sony has yeah. Sony Bravia TVs. I mean, they are in the industry for entertainment. And saying that the small company has a better screen, I don't know if that can be entirely true. I mean, I know that uh, the beginning could screen... All just... Go ahead. I was just going to say, it's, it, it probably is a personal preference, but, um, yeah, it doesn't really quite make too much sense up front. The, like, Sony does do TVs. They've been in... Like, you're saying that, for, that they've been in for a while, so... Yeah. Just a small company <laughs> developing a screen better than what Sony has in theirs... It seems hard to believe to me, but I guess it could be possible. 
Um, yeah. But then also you got to think Oculus has been bought out by Facebook this week. This week. So what do you? How do you feel about that? I hate it. Sell the company. I think uh, my guess. Okay, so it's been all over YouTube. Um, a lot of uh, dev kits have been purchased already for the Oculus Rift, and I think now that uh, the word is out that Facebook bought them out, that um, just the interest in it is going to, I think that it's the start of the end for it. Okay. Um, so have you heard of the Facebook effect? No. Okay, the Facebook effect is pretty much, like, pretty much anything Facebook buys eventually dies. Like, pretty fast. <laughs> and no. I definitely could see that happening with the Oculus Rift. Because guess what, GameStop, or not GameStop, but guess what, Facebook? You are not in the technological industry, okay? You built a social website that is now incorporating ads. What the hell are you doing trying to buy technological companies except thinking, maybe I'm going to be able to make a quick buck off of this when they were doing just fine without you, and now you're probably going to ruin a good thing. That's all I see coming out of this. Yeah. I, I'm completely with you. I think that they have no business in it. I, I heard a funny joke about it, like, uh, what are they going to use VR for, uh, farm, farm games that they have? Farmville. <laughs> yes. Candy Crush, now you can use... live there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Pretty much but some people basically heard the, do live there. That's sad. It, it is. I've never actually played it, so I can't really speak too much on it, but um, it's a Facebook game, it's a web page game, so. Have you played Bejeweled, or something like that? There's, like, a game similar to it. Uh, a long time ago, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I at, heard that there's, like... At least one point like, in my time, I'm sure I've played it. Yeah, there's... If Facebook stay out of it, <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What was I well, have you for? Do you know what the direction is that they're going for that? Oh, now I remember what I was going over here for. Uh, no. So they're basically saying, all right, we'll develop it for the game for, for first, but, but I don't know whether they are planning to completely redevelop for it or they're just going to remarket for, um, they're basically saying like real life interaction, like to be able to experience different, uh, areas, um, that they wouldn't previously be able to. I can actually look up the page that I read that from, if um, you want. Uh, different areas. Explain that a little bit further to me, if you would. In order to do that, I'm going to have to look this up. And I'm going to find a chest before I do that, because I don't know. I was going to say, if you come to the chest room, we still got um, a couple empty chests that you can use. Or are you uh, all the way down, down there? here on the ground. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to go on a mine shaft real quick, because okay. there's plenty of light. Oh yeah, and we're becoming fairly decently rich. We're up to, um, actually let me go ahead and get an accurate count. 24 blocks of iron now, so we're doing pretty good. Holy. Um, I, yeah, we I are. do believe yeah, we already purchased. Daniel is over 40 though. Okay, I'm going to have to mine a lot more for that then. Yeah, well, you got to remember, he has a fortune pick, and he's getting... Well, actually, I don't know if you get duplicate on that or not, but his diamond count's going up as well. God dang it, I keep on forgetting what I come over here for. Cobblestone. That's what I needed. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. And I'm going to grab some dirt. Shut up, zombie. No one wants to hear your voice. Don't believe me? Uh, uh, do you have anything you want to add for this uh, Facebook thing while I'm looking at this? I don't really have much to add to the Facebook thing, but I got more for virtual reality in general. I mean, just, okay. I mean, I don't want Facebook to be involved in it, but they're going to be anyways, so. And we have zero control over that. Mm. 
No, ladies and gentlemen, I am not measuring out anything right now. I This is how I build. I get a basic idea and then I build from there. Um, also, um, I got some big ideas. I don't want to reveal them right now on here, but um, I want to reveal them to you tonight, Chris, um, about okay. the minigame map. I have huge plans for that now. Oh, really? Yeah, I got Wait, major plans uh, for that since the update came out. So. Oh, oh boy. Um, also, <laughs> All I, right. I've um, been saying it time and time again to everybody. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out the Facebook page yet and given, given it a like, on the one-year anniversary of the map, which I believe is April 8th or April 9th, i got to re-look it up, um... I will be revealing a very, very big announcement about the map, uh, the minigame map that is, um, which I'm sure a lot of people will be excited for, but I'm just too excited to let it out just yet. Alright, I found the article that I was trying to uh, discuss. Okay, I'll just quote this paragraph word for word. Uh, it's from Maximum PC, of course. Okay, so it says, uh, once it's a gaming plat platform, uh, Zuckerberg, I really don't know how Mark to Mark Zuckerberg. Name. Yep. It's to make the Oculus Rift plat other experiences. That might include enjoying a courtside seat at a game or consulting with a doctor face to face. He writes all just by putting on goggles in your home. So, just day to day stuff. Instead of actually having to drive, if you don't need a, uh, like, yeah, try to bring everything outdoors inside is what uh, it sounds like they're going to try doing with the goggles. You know, Mother Nature's going to get pissed off at him for doing this. <laughs> Along with everybody else. Yep. Uh, and I think I have enough... Um, sand? Uh, sand. So, okay. I'm gonna come, yes, that. So I'm going to come back up. Okay. I'll be sure to greet you with a high five. Oh, uh, hey, you. Please don't. No, I won't. I'm not really in the mood to kill people today. Maybe tomorrow. That's not a sentence you hear every day. <laughs> uh, you might hear it in jail. <laughs> oh, God! Dead. Okay. Ooh! That's the first death of the video today. Um, <laughs> probably many more coming. Yeah. Jumping. Especially me, I'm down to two and a half or, or two and a half pieces of food. Um, also, I don't remember if this was shown in, uh, the second update video, which should be coming out tomorrow. Okay, yeah, so you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, tomorrow will be the part two to this, uh, section eight series. So be sure to check that out tomorrow. Um, and, god dang it, leave me alone. <laughs> I got so many mobs on me! God dang it! No, 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 no! Get away, 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 get away! Why do I have coca beans on me? Okay, I believe that's everything. Okay, I'm coming back up. Holy crap, you made a freaking monster on me, dang it. I made a monster spawn? Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, uh, where were we? Oh my god, have you seen the Here island from below? Oh, no. It's weird. It's really weird. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it, I like it, but it's weird. Oh, you removed my, uh... Oh, I guess I did have you? taken that. What's up? Hey, you're not up here, are you? Uh, I put a stone block here, here and you replaced it again with dirt. What I did. Wait. Oh, there's a zombie. Wait, where are you talking? You talking right uh, here? This one? I don't even know where you're at. I don't even see you. Um, not invisible. I'm right here. 
tag. What the? It's because I'm dead. Well, yeah. I'm a freaking ghost. I'm here to haunt you, okay? So you're talking about this block right here. Why that block? Yeah. Why? So I could get down there and mess with uh, my bed. Because I was trying to get... Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool. Go away, please. I'm laughing. See, zombies can still see me. They can't they hurt me. Yes, they can. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, oh, that ordeal's over. Where were we again? Virtual VR reality. Glasses. Okay. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, stay out of it. Don't care. I don't want to see my doctor in front of my face and in my living room. I personally don't care. I don't want to see it. You don't want to go see a uh, race courtside? Do you know how no much sense. you got you to pay for that? Don't want to see a race up front. Do you know how much you got to pay for that? You mean like a season pass for VR exclusive? Yes. It's going to be paying out the butt. You thought that freaking yep. the no what do you call it? The um I can't remember what they call it for dish. But like that freaking NBA sports package and the March Madness package and the NHL package. You're going to have an Oculus Rift package. And it's going to charge you probably, what, 300? 300? Maybe that's too, maybe that's too low. But it's going to be so expensive and so not worth it. Yep, I know. I mean, if you... One one thing uh, that they said um, in the Morpheus um, presentation that they had um, was that the visuals is one thing, and then the sound is another. And I found that to be really, really big and really, really important, because sound is a major, major key to uh, the um, virtual reality. Because it's one thing to be put into the room, but if you aren't, like, if it doesn't sound like you're there, I guess it's like you're only getting a partial experience. Right. I can understand that. Uh, I'm taking two stacks of closed down. Okay. Um, what else do you got for virtual reality? Uh, give me a little second, I'm trying to think real quick. Uh, offhand, I don't have anything. Okay, you also, I'm just going to go out and say this now. Uh, there's a bad windstorm going on right now in my place. If uh, this video gets cut short abruptly and doesn't have an ending, um, that's probably because I'm going to lose power. Like, it's, it's, it's really bad right now, and I'm pretty sure with the falling limbs I'm here and falling right behind me right now, it's it could potentially lose power. So, just a little notice right there for you guys. Um, okay, so... Okay, so what else do you got? I keep on getting uh, nothing else. Okay, so you're good. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have one more question for you, okay, that I want an honest answer. Yeah. Virtual reality, uh -oh. do you want it? Will you use it? <sighs> I gotta refer back to the thing, and I think you would strongly agree with me. It's a nice, like, you and I both have the 3D phone, we both have the 3DS, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we've experienced 3D stuff a lot. Um, it, it's nice to experience but in the scheme of it it's too too much to work around to actually enjoy on a constant basis so i could see this being that way but at the same time it could just be so revolutionary that like it would just be the new natural way of playing video games offhand i would say like it's probably going to be too expensive and too um of an odd hassle to um, use it to for me to actually enjoy. 
So, so that's, that's my answer for that. So you're okay with it, but you don't think it's going to be a necessity. It's going to be fun exactly. to play with. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, it's just the compatible with it and um, just for the 3DS, there's a lot of games that actually just shut off the 3D just because it's nauseous to uh, use, but that's a different uh, reason. You have to adjust. You cut out there at the end. You there? Okay, I'm guessing you might be gone again. Can't, I can never tell what them it seems like. Um, but yeah, virtual reality, here's how I know. see Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, okay, sorry about that. So, virtual reality for me, I'm for it, and if the way that Sony is talking is how it is, I can't wait for it, and I will pre-order it immediately, but I don't know if it's something I'm going to use all the time, because I feel that if you can get yourself immersed into the world of that game enough that you may that gaming addictions could raise to a point of where there's just no coming back and where you will make that possibly your reality in a sense. I mean, there are some people out there who could make it a reality for them. What was that um, movie with Bruce Willis in it? <sighs> surrogates. I don't know. It's surrogates. A, uh, what are you saying? Surrogates. I'm yeah. Sure it's 100% surrogates. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what you're saying kind of seems like that, so uh, I could definitely see that happening. But, like, I'm I'm all for it. I can't wait for it, because it's going to happen. Um, and I guess that's about where I stand on it. I'm excited for it. Can't wait. Um, sign me up. <laughs> okay, there's that. Um, so that's good for virtual reality for you then? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's see, next on here, I don't know much about this, so you're going to have to educate me about this. Uh, new graphics card. Go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think, um, until about six months ago, the most powerful and most, uh, Expensive graphics card was a Titan, $1,000. Um, uh, faster and cheaper card came out. Well, the evolution to that graph, the Titan, is, and they're also releasing it in um, the Titan Z, which is two Titan Blacks in one single card. And that's supposed to be $3,000. And that is weird to see the doors go like that without anybody actually moving around in here. Anyway, um, so it's supposed to be $3,000 worth. Mm -hmm. It's the most expensive gaming graphics card uh, to ever be created, I think. It's just ridiculous, and um, I'm excited to see what power comes out of it. It sounds like it might possibly do 4K all by itself in a single video card, which oh, wow. is insane to think, but yeah. Um, most rigs have to have three 780Ti's, which is extremely, that would be like a little over $2,000, I think. So, like I said, it's, uh, it's just going to be interesting to see uh, what comes out of it. So, that's that. Okay. Um, do you think that the day will ever come where a computer is fast enough? Just plain and simple, if it's ever fast. Like, it's to the point of um, where you're like, I don't need a more speed, I'm set, and we have a spider that's stuck. Mind, yeah, I know, I'm working on that. <laughs> okay, I, 
I was messing with that, trying to get the glass in there, and You're I removed the, it. the ladder accidentally. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, give me a second, I'll fix it. I mean, it's just bam. It's, that's it's what just I mean. like a bopper okay, I'm back right over. there. It's just waiting for death to come. <laughs> um, will computers ever get fast enough? Yeah, in short, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Everything <clears throat> has an ultimate end to it, but um, it's hard to imagine that one. Uh, just because I stupid. Let me get he's around, not you stupid. Please. He's special and unique. I never bought it when people told me that. <laughs> oh. No way. oh, that's sad. That's depressing. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> um, no. I don't think um, computers will ever get to that. Okay. And do you, yeah, why do you think that that is? Um, you weren't expecting this question, Just because you? if... <laughs> Not at all. Uh, no, actually. Um, just because maybe it might be able to speed up and keep uh, consistent with us being able to click with it. But I think um, the OS, the operating system, will get so technical and so... Um, lots of layers, lots of visual uh, stuff to it. That that will have to like just to have it at idle with an operating system will have to get insanely fast. Um, you'll have more programs that are doing a lot more tasks in the background to accomplish more. Um, I think if it, I think at some point it will hit a wall, but that is far from now that it's pretty much a no answer. Okay, pretty much I agree with you on pretty much a god dang near every single little part of that. So, cool. um, <laughs> well done, well played, I guess. <laughs> GG. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I th I think that computers will never be fast enough. But for current day, like like I guess look back at the days of MS DOS. MS DOS runs easily on anything that we have anymore. But with future operating systems and everything like that, we're only going to need more speed to keep up with everything. So, yeah. And plus, and uh, more back. Plus, who doesn't want smoother? And pretty much, in order to get smoother, you're just gonna have to get more. Welcome to America, where everything is more. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't see the day that. The computers will be perfect, but I do think that we will see a day of where it's going to be really, really close. Can I just point out one thing? You just said Macs aren't perfect. The Macs aren't perfect? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put all that part um, in. There. Let me just say that the Mac gods just killed you. So. <laughs> um, well, I was down to one. You part got. You have everything. to admit, though that the Mac is pretty dang impressive with uh, the new one. The new Mac Pro. Um, Otherwise known as what some Windows lovers say, the trash can. <laughs> I, I love that saying, actually. Um, yeah, as small as it is, as it is and as powerful as it is, the, you have to give it props. So... Whatever, there. Okay. What's the most you're gonna get out of me? Okay, I will take it. Ooh, almost deplanted that. Are you still doing that thing? Yeah, yeah, we're still going. Um, but yeah, I don't think that we're ever gonna see the day of a uh, perfect computer. But hopefully someday we'll get to where um, a consumer can buy a computer and it'll be perfect. Like of where the only upgrades you're going to need is if you are like in a business that involves you to have a very high speed computer like a um, standard laptop that will get you through um, your college education like my laptop right now slows down all the hell and it wasn't a cheap price to get 
So it would be nice that if someday in the future that we'd be able to get a very affordable computer that does what we need to do. Well, a frame of reference, how expensive are phones these days? Like, like not even phone? the best of the best. Yeah, like just a really decent cell phone. You can get for, without contract, what, two, three hundred bucks? It, yeah, really that's, a, that's the price I was thinking. And it's about half the speed of the laptop is right now, and which means like a few uh, years ago, it was the same in. speed. Okay. A few years ago, it's about the same speed as uh, what the laptops were back then. So, uh, it, only good things will come of it. Lots of more power and lots cheaper too. Mm -hmm. Like, I would, like, see, the computers that you see anymore, like, have, like, 2 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of RAM, these computers are not meant to last. That's the one thing I hate about Windows, is that it's not built to last. A Mac, on the other hand, is built for the future. Yeah. I mean, mine is going okay. to be probably good for a good another 6 years, maybe 7 years out, and it's still going to be current and up to date and not slowing down. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But you can't really blame Windows for that because it's the um, sure, sure. It's the, what it's they call? the computer Boutique. maker. The yeah, distributor. The yeah. Uh, Dell, HP. They just they don't do a good job. No, they don't. They do an absolutely terrible job at it. How do you like the uh, see-throughness of my monster trap now? So that you can see the deaths? Yeah. I see no death right now, so um, no comment. I've only seen one, okay? Just give it a, give it a couple hours. A couple of hours. Okay, so it's not perfect. What? What? Found Just forget about monster. it. Uh, what was the next topic that we had? Oh, okay, the Xbox One. Do you think it can be saved? <sighs> okay, my opinion on this is um, last generation PS3, like Xbox 360 on last generation and PS3 just kind of had a roll with the blows. I think it flipped this year, I think, or this generation. I think PlayStation 4 is going to own it. And Xbox One just has to roll with the blows. See, like, I wish that it wouldn't be that way. I wish that uh, Microsoft would be able to stay competitive, but I honestly don't think that they're going to be able to stay competitive. Mostly because of the... God dang it, I keep falling off. <laughs> because of the pure evidence that they were relying so hard on Titanfall to pick back up... Um, on to bring the Xbox One back into competition, and it didn't. It it just failed hardcore for him. So I don't know. It they need to do something and something big. I I listen to Inside Gaming all the time, and what they keep on saying, and what Microsoft keeps on saying that they will never do, is get rid of the Connect, get rid of the Blu-ray drive and get like a $350 console out there. If they were to get rid of both and charge $350, I'd be fine with that. I'd be like, that's probably going to be a good product. But they'd need to drop the Connect. No one wants it. There aren't that many games right now that are utilizing it. And personally, I find it to be pointless. I spent $150 on my Connect when it first came out. What is it worth now? About 30 bucks. And that's the people who want it, and people who want it are probably going to be modifying it and stuff like that. So, looking to the PC. I see death. Uh, there, it. Uh, they just announced, I think today, um, that the PC now has a uh, Connect available, or it is coming. Oh, seriously? Yeah, they did announce awesome. that. Awesome. Um, Developers do such cool stuff with the PC for that, so. 
Yeah, I remember I seeing one video of a guy playing either Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare 2 with a Kinect, and I believe it was <laughs> the PlayStation Move. Or was it the Wii nunchucks? Yes, yeah, that's it, the Wii. Okay. I was gonna say, I've seen one with the Wii where he's playing Call of Duty. I like how he's, uh, like, flicking the nunchuck and, uh, then he gets, like, a weapon swap or something like that. Yeah, yep. yeah, he, like, uh, uh, I forget ex everything that he used, but he dips it down to reload and, like, swipes it to the side to, uh, do a weapon swap, and he can actually, like, do the hand gesture for throwing the grenade and actually does it. It looks, looks pretty awesome. It's something that combined with an Oculus Rift or a Project Morpheus together would provide um, a very, very enjoyable experience for gamers because you are being immersed even further into the game. I mean, yep. th that would be like the ultimate experience. So, I mean, to see you, to have physically throw a grenade and then to physically or uh, visually see a grenade blow up someone right next to you and be satisfied with that. I mean, I would love that. Could you imagine doing uh, melee attacks with the VR and um, uh, nunchucks? I believe that I... S oh, uh, with the nunchucks, I haven't seen that. Um, like, what I, the, the video totally footage I've seen so far is um, showing the Morpheus being... Um, used with just the PS Plus controller, or the PS controller. Yeah. So, um, which what are the so uh, nunchuck styles that PlayStation has? Um, I would say the Wii Move, or not. <laughs> God dang it, I'm getting too many consoles mixed <laughs> up together. Um, the PS Move, I would say, would be the equivalent. Uh, that okay. Place? Yeah, I saw. Um, some guy in a suit, uh, like, I don't know, it just looked goofy as heck with uh, somebody in a suit doing it, but, yeah, he had two of those uh, in his hands and doing some sort of, like, sword movement or something like that, but it's a cool concept. I, okay, I would love to have, like, um, uh, like a rifle-style game, like, uh, maybe a Sniper Elite kind of game. Where you actually have a gun and you get to point it and scope and you actually have some sort of feedback from it where the gun actually um, expands or something, but oh, that would be awesome! I would pay anything to. That. You'd pay anything. Just about. Right. I'm still. Like, <laughs> like, how much are you thinking about paying? Uh, for the gun, um, for the goggles, I would pay like a grand or more for that. Okay, actually, I'm going to go on a break off topic here, um, because it's kind of like with the goggles and stuff like that. Um, Google Glass, how do you stand on it? Okay, sad to admit, but I really don't know too much about, um, Google, Google Glass, but I just... I guess I don't see a point when you have a cell phone. Like, why do you need to look so freaking weird if you have a cell phone in your pocket? I think it, I think the best way to put it is Bluetooth 2.0. Because it basically operates off of the Bluetooth off of your phone. Um, and then basically, like, it, it just syncs up, uses your data and everything like that. Um, but it just, you have a screen to use. Would you consider it the same category as a, uh, where, um, uh, how do they phrase it? Like a wearable device, such as the watches? The smartwatch? Yes. Would you consider it the same category as that? What do I consider it the same category? Mm, no, no, I wouldn't. Okay. Um, and the, the only reason I bring this up is that I did try it on for the first time, um, and it is very, very impressive. Um, I will get. I will say that they did a remarkable job on it. Um, will I personally you got buy to try one? the Google Glass? 
Yeah, I got to try it on. Uh, one of my friends got into the program for it. Nice. Um, and it is insanely comfortable. It was very, very odd. It seems like the device seems very, very flimsy, um, but it is fairly sturdy and it fits good on your head um, for anybody's actually. Um, and the screen on it, although you would think looking at a screen while walking would be weird, the only thing weird is the person walking by you. Like, they're probably going to be giving you the look of what are they looking at. Because your eyes are totally somewhere else. But other so, than that, it's that's a very, very interesting piece of technology. How much of that screen actually takes up your overall field of view for that eye? I would say for your right eye, if I was to close it right now, I would say it takes about a... Four, no, not even. Like, I'd say of your full field of vision, maybe an eighth of it. But if you're not focused on that, you can totally, your, your brain can totally block it out. Okay. Do you have, like, I, I saw that it doesn't really have a frame around the glass, but is there a big distinction between that and uh, everything else around you? Or it just kind of seamlessly um, fits in, like... That's it, pretty seamless. Nice. Like, I mean, seriously, I was, like, really, really scared about even trying them on. One, because I was like, this is $1,700 that he paid for it. And he's letting me wear it on it on my head. Uh, but number two was that, like, I didn't want to have a bad image of this. I was like, I saw so much potential out of this. I don't want to have this ruined for me. And I wasn't disappointed at all. Like the like the nice. screen itself, it, like you, it takes like a little bit of um, like adjusting, like where you're looking on it. But once you get used to it, like it's not that bad at all. Uh, what sort of stuff is displayed on it? Is it just text, or is uh, can you pretty display, much like video? Any, uh, yeah, you can do video on it even. I mean, it does a little bit okay. of everything. Um, the one thing that was kind of funny to watch um, was that he busted it out in the middle of class and he uh, started doing a skeet shoot. So he was so he'd keep on saying pull, and then bang. <laughs> okay, said, that's pretty cool. He said he wants to do that um, in the middle of church, or no, no, he said in the middle of an airport he wanted to do that. He wanted to go pull. Bang! And then see if, like, any um, officer would try and, like, stop him or something like that. Like, so yeah, he probably would oh get out of the airport pretty quick. I lived. <sighs> I, can't, I don't know how I survived that one, but that one was a miracle. Oh, dang. Um, on the off note to your off note. On the off note to my off note. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> the Oculus Rift uh, 2. The dev kit for that is only 300 bucks. This For the second generation of it? Yep. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. Yeah. That's... So... I'm really happy about hearing that price, actually. We should go 50-50. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, dang it. Um, I'm sorry, but I would actually love to play that in Minecraft. I've seen some video stuff for it like could you imagine sitting over here off the balcony of this feeling like you could drop off the edge looking at everything else i would vomit See, I i'm okay like I'm with it except the screen i kept on hearing complaints from uh youtubers about the um screen being blurry and thus it'd give them headaches and nausea so i don't know if that would be something you'd witness or not are you talking i heard that that's because of latency but it might be too uh, as well, but I heard that uh, like the screen was pretty bad on it. But... God but dang it, I fell off the again. One as well. <laughs> Same spot. Okay, I'm crouching from now on. I'm just... I, I'm gonna fill that part in for you. I mean, this is good entertainment, but I feel bad for you. Don't fill up the walls. The walls are gonna be wood, by the way. I won't. Okay. I'm just gonna do a slope up to that. 
Um, okay, so um, one last topic that we got for uh, this episode. Actually, I don't even know how long we've been talking for. Um, <laughs> uh, about 50 minutes. It's not too bad. Um, Holy. So I want to talk about Goat Simulator. For those of you who <laughs> haven't heard about it, go watch the goddamn commercial um, about the Goat Simulator, okay? I mean, it is what it says. It's a simulator for a goat. And although you may say that that sounds stupid, it's not that stupid. It's It looks entertaining as hell. But, um... I don't know why that's still burning, that stuff. Hold on. Um, but the one thing that I'm just kind of iffy about on it is that one, they confirmed no multiplayer for it. And then oh. next, they um, confirmed, or um, not confirmed, this is just me, um, is that they are... God dang it, I gotta get my... The replayability of it. I'm not sure the replayability is there for this game. I mean, I'm really, really um, skeptical about it. Okay, so I gotta pull this back to games like Flight Simulator. There really was no goal other than basically opening up everything to be able to use everything. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what, like, what the goal would be. Like, obviously, instantly you would want to explore and understand. Once you got done doing that, like, is there anything to achieve other than to explore? Exactly. I mean, I honestly am kind of. I mean, I'm intrigued by the fact of how much Oops. you can do because in the new commercial they have the freaking goat jetpacking. Okay. Who doesn't want ah, a freaking jetpacking goat, okay? And then <laughs> with the sticky tongue thing, and you can lick anything, and you'll be stuck to it. I mean, it is probably comedy game of the year. But, I mean, what else are you getting from that? I mean, there's not going to be a story. I can probably confirm that to you. It's going to be like any other simulator game. But, I mean replayability is it, is it going to be there I personally don't think so thus being the main reason why I will never ever get a ghost simulator game it, I, I would okay, love to get it pulls me. okay go ahead no go ahead go ahead go ahead I would love to get it but it doesn't have multiplayer and it doesn't have um, it's it's just not got enough of what I want for replayability. I think I would play it for maybe about, oh, I don't know, probably maybe about a month, and then I'd get sick of it, and I'd be like, why did I buy this? For a couple good laughs, and that was about it. Longer than I'd play it, it'd probably be three days. Did you just hit me? No? Nope. Okay. No, it's not um, The... What appeals to me about it is the funky music and just the way they um, the advertise a game as just like a comical, like, basically um, mess with the world as much as you want. And they, they do it in a very interesting and funny way. And so the trailer is what's pulling me in, but I think it's kind of like the... Uh, the trailer for the Connect really pulled me in, but once it actually came out, it's just like that's really? a good one to actually bring up. That that's actually really good because it did drag you in really, really, really good. But when you got down to one of the it, big reasons I wanted it was the kid. Was oh Project Milo. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of promise behind that, and I, was, and I actually recently just thought about it again and looked into it. The main reason that they got rid of it was um, that they didn't feel that there was enough story with it. That's what I was reading. And I didn't think that there needed to be much of a story and much of a plot because he was supposed to grow with you and learn you and everything like that. So I wonder if yeah. it's Sony's way, or not Sony, uh, Microsoft's way of saying, 
we tried to do this, but it didn't work. So we're gonna say That's my guess. That this happened. Because <laughs> I mean I was excited for it. I That's yeah, it, it was over fifty percent of what was drawing me into the game, but which, um, is it not kind of sad that you want to become best friends with a little boy? Okay, just think about that for a second. With a virtual little boy, and you want to be best friends with him. That's a little bit scary, but we were all thinking it. I want to be Milo's best friend. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. So, as long as you don't hand him candy, it's okay. Um, <laughs> actually, if, if anyone hasn't ever seen uh, the Project Milo... Uh, video that IGN did. I highly recommend that one. That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> oh god. Um, um, they made fun of it really, really hardcore. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up tonight. I don't ever think I saw the IGN one. IGN video of that. Uh, no, I think if Milo was. Do you remember the. where you carried him around on your keychain and you just evolved it and like took uh, care of it? Tamagotchi. Or Hamagachi, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tamagotchi. I think it's Tamagotchi. If it was. Yeah, I think there was multiple, and I think that was the most popular one, is the Tamagotchi. But if it was some sort of. You don't need a storyline, just, like, grow with it. Mm -hmm. I actually really miss those, so it would be cool to see them bring back. And I saw that Pokemon uh, kind of did do that, which is really cool, but. They, mm -hmm. It's more of a knockoff. Yeah, they didn't really it's not the same. Invest much time in it. Yeah. Thank you for trying, but then again, it's, <laughs> it's just not the same. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> and I, th I think that's all I got to say on that one. I was gonna say, I oh, think th dang it. I think that's about it for me as well. So I think that that actually does it for this episode of a mic of a. Episode 3 of the Minecast. So. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I got anything else. Do you have anything else that happened this week that you want to cover? Uh, not off the top of my head. Alright. So that does it for episode 3 of the Minecast. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you actually watch this whole thing, I commend you. Uh, Chris just killed himself because he watched this whole thing. <laughs> Um, so, actually, thank you guys very much uh, for watching this from beginning to end, um, if you did watch it. Uh, be sure to leave a like. If you did like this, um, we do plan on doing this every single Thursday. Um, we like giving our two cents on things, and although we may not be right all the time, we still like to just share our thoughts on um, how we stand on some things. Um, but yeah, if you have any of your own topics or your own thoughts that you want to add, definitely comment them down below. Um, we are always open to any ideas or um, even debating with you guys if you want to go into that. We will take you down. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that does it for this episode of the, of the Mindcast podcast. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next Friday.